bloke and his little girl, they've just been on the island for a couple of days and they're stranded there because they ran out of fuel. So I've just had to give them a bit of fuel for the outboard for the, uh, for the little launch in there. They've come over from Honiara and they ran out of fuel and they managed to come into the island. So it's lucky that we came here because it's a pretty isolated place. No one really comes here, I don't think. No one lives on the island. So, yep, he rode out and says, can I have a bit of fuel, please? So he got a bit of fuel and Leah gave him a biscuit. So there you go. <laughs> Happy days. So we left Lolligan Island about an hour ago this morning. We're just um, <clears throat> motoring up between these two islands and we're heading up the, the channel further up. We're still in the eastern part of the Russell Islands. We're heading for this pinnacle east of Falau Island. Apparently there's a lot of pelagics gather around there. So we're hoping to get some good shots of some of the big stuff. It's in about 20 metres and it drops off. We're going to go and dive a rainbow reef. East, East Falau Island, and we've paid. What do we call the bloke who takes the fees? What John we, Collins. We've paid John Collins, who came, rode out, and dug out for an anchoring fee and a diving fee. And we've paid him. He's happy. He's got a smile on his face, and we can uh, dive without being pestered. He's gone home, and um, he's gone home. He's gone home. Having hot a stuff. Few beers tonight. Maybe, maybe on a few some beers hot tonight. Stuff. Some hot stuff. <laughs> He's happy, he's very happy. He got paid. <laughs> Double beetle nut tonight. Yeah. The clouds are building up, which seems to be what's happening in the Solomons at this time of the day. Between sort of about oh, 11 o'clock and 3.30, it's really, really hot. Otherwise, it's quite pleasant. We're in the Russells now, and it's probably time after we've done these diving for the next few days that we head off to the Western Province, which is safer um, because of possible cyclones at this time of the year. We had to locate the mooring, which was um, under the water, because what actually happens here is if uh, people put moorings in, the villagers come and cut them off, so they're quite difficult to find. Took us probably about 20 minutes to find this one. Knee, getting ready to go diving. <laughs> There's Paul getting ready. So we just go straight here and then she sweep towards the moon. Very elegant.
<laughs> so Johnny knows the people who uh, own this island. There's a couple there, uh, a Malaysian man who married to a New Zealand woman. I think they're in Honiara at the moment, but the people who are the caretakers of the island has just gone into, onto the island to uh, have a chat. See if we have to pay any money for diving here, we probably will have. There's one happy spear fisherman here and a happy crew as well. Fish soup from the head. Yep. And you use the meat on the spine as well, do you? Yep. Yep. Sure. They want to exchange if you guys got any shirt or something. I'm, I'm no, we got rid of all our clothes. So we need to get some more clothes. You can't open the collar. Yeah, what about now? <laughs> You blow it. Yeah. <laughs> so these two ladies and the little girls come out with some coconuts for us and some chilies. What do they want, Leo? What have we got? Well, they want some clothes. I don't think I've got many, but I'll have a look and see what I've got. There's not many clothes left. <clears throat> Well, it's coconut juice. <clears throat> Which island you come from? Huh? What's it called? Laula. 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 <laughs> what a village where you were there? Yeah, this one is here. This one is here? Yeah. Sailing back to their island. Yeah, some of these canoes have got uh, sails as well. 